One day, she'll play with her grandkids. One day, he'll walk his daughter down the aisle. One day, these kids will grow up with your help. Thanks to you, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is leading how the world treats and defeats childhood cancer. Treatments invented at St. Jude have helped push the overall childhood cancer survival rate to 80% today. We won't stop until no child dies of cancer. Our discoveries are freely shared with doctors everywhere. And no family pays St. Jude for treatments, travel, housing, or food, because all a family should worry about is helping their child live. So if you have healthy children, give thanks. Give thanks. Da las gracias. Give thanks. Give thanks for the healthy kids in your life and give to those who are not. Donate now at stjude.org or shop where you see the St. Jude logo. What we're here to talk about today is the Thanks and Giving campaign, which is for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And every year for 14 years, we've had this campaign. And it's unusual because it's a media campaign where you see things, uh, all these spots on television, you see them uh, in the movie theaters. I did five days on the Today Show with the children and Dr. Oz and so many other things. And of course, this wonderful build. Uh, and when we not only have these wonderful stars with us, but we also have these fabulous stores who, if you go to these stores, they, we have 70 partners. And each of them will say to you, would you like to make a donation for the children of St. Jude? And what's great about this campaign is that it's at the time of year when we're all out having a fabulous time. We're buying goodies and, and gifts and all kinds of wonderful things for the Hanukkah meal and the, and the Christmas meal. But while we're in doing all of those joyful things, there are kids who aren't feeling so well. And they and their parents won't be going home for Christmas. So we'd like to say to you about those children is to give thanks for the healthy kids in your life and give to those who are not. So of our 70 partners, our very generous partners who not only open the doors of their store, they open their hearts to us every year. And three of them are here today. And I would like you to each introduce yourself and talk about your store, what you're doing at your store for the Thanks and Giving campaign. Great. Hi, my name is Laura Bishop, and I'm with Best Buy. So with Best Buy, we have over 1,200 stores where we are offering the Thanks and Giving campaign with St. Jude, but we also do it on our website and on the Best Buy app. So we make it easy for customers to give, and our employees are very enthusiastic about it. We've been at it for five years now. So You've been a great partner. You're the number one partner now. It's amazing. We love that. Thank it's amazing. You. Yeah. And you'll see this... Uh, logo when you go to any of their stores. I always say when you see this logo, those are the good guys. Be sure and shop there. <laughs> and the next lovely lady. Yes. So Jeanette Ferranastorga, I oversee corporate responsibility and charitable initiatives for the Ocena Retail Group. And our brands and Taylor and Loft are very committed to the Thanks and Giving campaign. So when you come into our stores, you really see um, our over 18,000 associates across the country making a really special moment to come together and unite for this important cause. Our clients can come into our stores and our associates celebrate every donation made at the register by ringing a bell at the Loft. I know, I love outlet that. At store. So that bell really signifies a celebration of our of our clients' generosity, um, but it is uh, it is something that our associates are very passionate about. So through our Ann Taylor and Loft partnerships since 2007, we've raised over 38 million dollars. Fantastic! For Jude. And today they gave me this outfit to wear. This is <laughs> this is an Ann Taylor outfit. I probably have to give it back, but I'm enjoying wearing it now. We'll let you keep it, Marla. Oh, thank you so much. And then. Alex. Hi, I'm Alex Bellows, president of West Elm, which is part of Williams Sonoma. Um, we've been a partner with Thanksgiving for uh, 13 years now. Yeah, Started with the amazing Pat partner. Connolly, and uh, also 38 million dollars. So there's a theme going on here. <laughs> um, but we we love it because it's a way to engage both our customers and our associates in the initiative. Uh, this year, we sold over 30 products, uh, from amazing spatulas at West Elm to ornaments across many of our brands uh, to a cat. Uh, toy at, 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 uh, at my brand, West Elm, which sold out after it was on the Today Show last week. <laughs> um, and it's an amazing initiative for our customers to participate through purchasing or through donating, but also for our stores. 
I was just traveling stores across our country last week, and I was in Edina um, in Minneapolis, and the store associates at Pottery Barn Kids had a bake sale going for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Or in Reno, uh, the bell was ringing. So it's an amazing way to get our associates and our customers involved in this great initiative across the country. Thank you. You know, it, this isn't just to raise money, which is very important. It, there's, it's a two-fold uh, program. It's to raise money, uh, and it's also to raise awareness. We want every mom and dad and grandparent and aunt and uncle to know that there is a place to go when you get some very bad news in your family. You know, any one of us can pick up a telephone any day and get some very stunning news. And what you want to know is, where do I go when I get that bad news? And for a lot of parents and grandparents, it's been St. Jude, and thank God we've been there to take care of the children with, with our really pioneering and uh, discoveries. The, uh, there's a wonderful uh, story at St. Jude. We call it the St. Jude Moment. I don't know if you've all got a St. Jude moment. Um, but things happen at St. Jude that are very unusual, and they become an experience that you share forever. One of my favorites is that when I was uh, at St. Jude one day, uh, one of the mothers brought over this little tiny girl who was all dressed in pink. I knew she was a girl because she had on so much pink. She was bald, so I couldn't really tell. And she was very tiny, and she had a pink ribbon around her head, and she was very shy. Uh, and her mother said to her, do you know who this lady's daddy is? And the little girl said, yes. And the mom said, who? And she said, St. Jude. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> uh, so we all have these great St. Jude moments. And there was a stunning one that my husband, Phil Donahue, had one day. He picked up a little boy and he lifted up in the air. And he said, what do you want to be when you grow up, tiger? And he looked at my husband and he said, I just don't want to be sick anymore. And wow, that really brings home exactly why you do what you do, why I do, and why all these lovely people go into these stores and, uh, and make a donation. You know, it cost $2.6 million a day to run St. Jude. And that is an enormous amount of money. And... Since nobody pays when they come to St. Jude, that was my father's founding promise, that no family would ever pay. So no, nobody pays. We pay for their housing and their food and all the treatment until the child gets well. And we're not for profit. So the money has to come from somewhere. So the money comes from uh, the, these kind of campaigns. We have to get 75% of our funds from the public. Where most regular hospitals, most for profit hospitals only have to get maybe 8% from the public. So these campaigns and what you all do and all these stores and Jennifer Aniston and Michael Strahan and, and Jimmy Kimmel and Sofia Vergara doing all those spots for us, that is the lifeblood of St. Jude. So it's very exciting for me to be here today on Build and be talking about St. Jude and be sharing it with three of our fabulous partners. And I have a, a special place in my heart for all of you, because I know you really do open your, your hearts. Do you have a St. Jude moment that you'd like to share? D do you? I do have a St. Jude moment. So I would say mine would be reflecting back on my first visit to St. Jude um, for our Mother's Day celebration. So for the last eight years, we uh, invite our store associates from Ann Taylor and Loft across the country to come in and host a special celebration for Mother's <laughs> Day. And, you know, it was really humbling for me to see um, how we could together, you know, sit side by side with the children, help them create crafts for their moms as gifts to St. Jude, and also treat the moms and help them feel pampered because they're like yes, the, the tireless right. warriors. Yeah. Um, so as a mother myself, it was, uh, and seeing that come to life, it was something I'll never forget. That's great. And you? So it's interesting because we have, a, I have a St. Jude moment from visiting the hospital as well, but I think an interesting one that's popped into my head is that when uh, Rick Shadiak came to Best Buy uh, to talk about when we achieved our goal uh, of raising 18 million last year, we had a discussion in among our employees that were there at the corporate campus. And one um, man stood up in the audience who's a Best Buy employee who we had no idea, but he himself had been at St. Jude as a child, wow. and he stood up and talked about 
the yes. fact that St. Jude had saved his life and that he had just had a child of his own. So kind wow. of that second piece, it was, it was really touching. And it was somebody that we didn't know about. But when people are coming into our stores all the time or some of our employees are there, um, we're hearing these stories from yes. our customers all of about their experience with St. Jude or some child that had cancer, but to hear it from somebody right within our right. own family right wow. there and unexpectedly was very moving, and very he moving. was full of gratitude for St. Jude that's and right. for what that's Best what Buy I was think. doing. It's a great story, and I think that's what's so appealing about St. Jude is that no matter where I go and what I'm speaking about, if I'm just speaking about some other thing, a women's issue or so forth, that somebody in the audience will raise their hand and say, my neighbor, my cousin, my little niece, myself, somebody in their family has been touched by St. Jude in a big way. And that's a thrill for us because we work really hard uh, to raise the money to keep the research going and, and, the, and the good clinical care going. As you probably know that St. Jude is so different because it has a research center and a treatment center under one roof. That's why doctors send us their toughest cases because uh, most hospitals are working with what they know and we're working with what nobody knows because we're a research center. So that's where the money is going uh, to do that research so that every child has the best possible chance. And I don't know if you know this, Alex, but every child has both a scientist and a doctor working on their case. So that's really, they get, they're getting the absolute best kind of wisdom and information. Uh, but Alex, I bet you have a, a St. Jude moment, Well, right? that actually is a great segue to mine. So every year we pull together all of our store managers um, in, in, in July to come together and get excited for the holidays. So for Williams-Sonoma, Inc., that includes Pottery Barn and Williams-Sonoma and... Pottery Barn Kids, West Elm, and, Mark and Graham, and Regeneration. Right, yeah. amazing. So we pull all our, all our store managers together, as well as people who um, are top performers in our stores or top top... Uh, earners for St. Jude during the holiday season. We, we bring them all together, and every year we have guests from St. Jude join us. Uh, last year, we had a, a, a patient named Chandler join us, who flew with his family straight from Memphis. And he shared his story about how he was diagnosed, how the doctors in his town struggled uh, with his care, and how when he finally got to Memphis, um, there was a, it was a, a complete unlock in his care, and, it, and they got him to remission. And seeing the energy of 1,200 people in the room hear that story, be impacted by that story. You, you hear the tears, but you also hear the cheers at the end of the story. It was an amazingly impactful moment. I think speaks to the power that not only um, the hospital can have on its patients, but also the power that it has to build a whole community around supporting well, the hospital. Well, of course, and there's nothing like a, a true story. Yeah. You know, I could go on for hours about how wonderful St. Jude is and how we have research and treatment under one roof and Nobody pays and all these wonderful things. But nothing matters as much as a mom or a dad or a child saying, I came here very sick, nobody knew what to do, and now I'm going home and going back to school or going back to gymnastics. It's just a thrill. It's the greatest thrill of my life. You know, I, I, I'm excited to know how it's impacted your stores and your employees. Do either of you have another story about it? how it's impacted your customers or your employees? Yeah, so for us, I mean, St. Jude is really a year-long, you know, opportunity in our stores. And so not well, only... Well, that's why you do it at Mother's Day? Correct. Too. So much of our fundraising happens this time of the year through Thanksgiving. Giving. But leading up to Mother's Day, we do a number of things through Ann Taylor and Loft. And, um, you know, for us, it's really a way for us to bring our associates together and unite for a cause. And it, DNA's just, our DNA really reflects the spirit of giving back. Um, we had one associate that shared with us, you know, how it is so moving for her to be able to ring that bell of celebration. I think we'll talk about the bells. The bells are very powerful. Yeah. It was the idea of one of our associates um, 10 years ago when our partnership started to actually bring in a bell herself to actually ring that bell of celebration in our stores. And it created a whole movement behind this bell. Um, but she said, you know, every time we ring that bell in our stores, that child is one step closer to, for them Aww. to ring their bell of victory. That's so, so great. So for us, it is so motivating and inspiring. And while our clients are incredibly charitable, I attest, you know, I attribute so much of our success in the campaigns to our associates. You glad to your associates. We we would say the same thing at Best Buy. So what we're seeing is we have a value of unleash the power of our people at Best Buy. And really it's those store associates as well as our presence in every community that 
brings that enthusiasm right. to the campaign. So our store associates also, we bring some of our leading stores or those with stories of when they've talked to their customers right. about the St. Jude campaign. We bring them to St. Jude to experience and I know, see so St. Great. Jude. And you know what? That's what our employees love, too, because they really see it up close and personal. Yes. And we bring in our technology as well. So we'll do kind of a technology day at St. Jude for the oh, kids great. to bring them some joy. It might be virtual reality. It might be iPads and games or coding skills or building computers. But it's something that brings that joy for the day. And really, we go away from that better ourselves and while we know we're helping St. Jude, St. Jude's helping us. We're becoming stronger we're all, as well. One whole big community. Did, I think you've all answered that question. My last question is, uh, is the, uh, what, what do you have to be thankful for? I think that's an important question that we all, I think gratitude is a blessing to be able to wake up in the morning and say, oh, I'm happy that I'm healthy today. I'm happy that my family's okay. I'm happy that I can live in, with a roof over my head and there's not a fire outside. My family's all in California actually running from their one house to another to, to be safe. Um, so there's a lot to be thankful for every day. Um, and I think sometimes we forget that, all of us do. We, we're so busy running around, we forget to say, you know, I'm really grateful for what I have. There's food in my refrigerator, that's a good thing. Um, so, Alex, I'd like to start with you. What, what do you think you're thankful for? I think, and this, I think, has made me even more thankful for that by seeing the stories of, of people that are helped by St. Jude. I have two children, a four-year-old and a two-year-old, and the fact that they're in a home with a roof over their head and food at the table, but I think most importantly healthy, um, is, is what I'm most grateful for. And I think that's why I'm so passionate about our, our work with St. Jude, because uh, it helps more people achieve the same dream and... and have, have, have the same ability. And, and that's our slogan, give thanks for the healthy kids in your life and give to those who are not. And I think we, we thought of that exactly for that reason that you're saying. We're just a phone call away from some bad, scary news about our children, our spouses, our parents, about anybody, ourselves. And what about you? Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely echo the sentiment. Um, I'm grateful for the opportunity to give back to help children that are in need. Um, and, it, you know, it's especially compelling because I have a healthy child of my own. So that gives me even more reason yes. to be grateful to be able to partner with St. Jude. Right. I would say, too, that I'm a mom of two daughters as well. And so I look at that. But I look at more of the surround that I have in my life. So it does really take a village to raise these wonderful, powerful uh, girls that I have. How old and are your girls? They're, they're 13 and 14 now. Wow. So, and they have been with me all the way here at Best Buy. I've been uh, at Best Buy for 15 years oh, and wow. was pregnant when I started with <laughs> uh, at Best Buy with my first. So I think it really does take a village. And I think this idea with St. Jude is that we are the village That's here right. and all giving back. And I've been blessed with a really supportive village and I hope to bring that to others. God bless. Well, you are blessed. Well, I'll tell you what I'm thankful for more than anything is for Azalea. Azalea is here with us today. And Azalea, come on up, Azalea. You want to come say hello? Azalea is a St. Jude patient who's all better. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? Hi, Azalea. Hi. Say hello to my friends, Jeanette and Laura and Alex. And Azalea is a St. Jude patient. And she comes from Jamaica. You want to say hello? Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and she had rhabdomyosarcoma, which is a soft tissue tumor. It was in a, a lot of her body. And her mother, who is just brilliant, Simone, would you like to say if you, you've got a microphone, you want to tell us a little bit about the journey you went through with your wonderful husband? The two of you have been just amazing. Yes, yes, what a journey it was. Azalea was actually diagnosed when she was um, two years old, a few months after she turned two. Um, she has an extremely rare cancer. As a matter of fact, her cancer um, is one in every 2.5 million children that can actually get her cancer. So it was extremely rare. And um, 
we didn't know how to treat it in Jamaica. They had no idea how to treat it. And we, you know, the first time I got her, well, they told me what they thought it was, but we had to do tests to, you know, confirm it. And once it was confirmed and the doctors, you know, solidified what it was, I said, how do we get her to St. Jude? <laughs> and they, she sent a referral, and in less than an hour, St. Jude's response was, how soon can you get here? Um, and our lives changed completely after that. You see the commercials every day and they say, you'll never see a bill and everything is taken care of. But in the back of your mind, it feels surreal. You're saying, you know, when you get there, there must be something. <laughs> but as a parent, that's not the first thing you're thinking about. The first thing you're thinking about is to get your child well. So even though we thought, you know, there has to be something that we have to pay for, there has to be something that we do, when we got there and we met with our doctor the first day, she said two things to us. The first thing she said was, you don't have to worry about a bill, ever seeing a bill from us. You will not be charged for everything, for anything at all, um, treatment, housing, or food. And my husband and I were just floored. Her jaws were, our jaws were just, you know, almost on the floor. And the second thing she said, she said, what your daughter has, we can fix it. And we were at ease from there on. I mean, she has contributed so much to research. And that's one of the things that I really love about St. Jude. Um, the last time I went to their gift shop, they had a t-shirt in there that says, one life saved at St. Jude saves thousands of others everywhere. That's right. And it is so true because right. I just learned yesterday that the, tree, the, the surgery that Azalea actually did at St. Jude it was very specialized. It was actually the first that was ever done in the United States. That's right. So, you know, that's groundbreaking, and that's going to help to fix so many other children all over the world, and we're just grateful that she was accepted and that she was a part of it, and she's happy, and she's healthy. And, and she's, she's a hero. She is a hero. She's, a hero. she's doing well. Yes. She's perfect. Yes. She's a hero. What Azalea went through and was being the first one to have that operation at St. Jude, now millions of children like you can have that same operation and get all better too with a mommy and a daddy who just love you so much. Oh, my goodness. Your husband was so gentle and sweet when he spoke about her. He said, Azalea is my heart. He did. Wow. <laughs> a daddy's girl for sure and a mommy's girl, both. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> really I mean... She's more of a daddy's girl, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's, and you have another child, too. I do. When I actually came to St. Actually, I found out I was pregnant and got Azalea's diagnosis in the same week. So when I went to St. Jude, I was actually just, you know, a few weeks pregnant. Oh, my. And that, again, you know, they, they help you to focus on the child that's sick and make sure that you're well so that you can take care of that child. So, you know, they helped me to find a doctor to take me through prenatal and make sure if I wasn't there for Azalea's appointments that, you know, it would all be taken care right. of. That's so right. they take care of not just the child, but the family, so the family can take care of that child. That's right. So it's absolutely that's a, that's wonderful. Exactly, you, you're exactly, exactly right. That's what we always say, is that we don't want you to worry about the bills. We want you to worry about making your child well. And if your family is whole, your child has the best chance. And, and you had a wonderful chance with your wonderful family. You want to say anything like goodbye or hi, Mom, or something? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Now, let's get you down so we don't fall. Mom, uh, yeah. there you go. Thank you both so much. Weren't they wonderful? Was it wonderful? <laughs> There's nothing like a true story. Uh, now, I'd love to go to the audience and uh, hear some questions. If you have any questions for, for Simone or for any of us, it would be, or, or, or even Azalea, <laughs> the beautiful Azalea. Uh, are there any questions? I, I will be asking. You have a question? Yes. Oh, I thought you were the. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you all spoke about your uh, social corporate responsibility in your companies, uh, and thank you very much for participating. But I'm wondering, 
Are there any different perspectives you internalized through this experience with St. Jude and would like to share some sort of opinion or insight you gained that the audience, and myself included, don't really think about on the daily basis that you would like us to think about? That one? I do have one. You know, I would I would share that what we see today from a corporate responsibility standpoint is that employees want to work for companies where they have shared values, right? And employees want to go to work for companies that stand for something greater of purpose. Um, and I would say for us, what we do with St. Jude is a huge associate engagement opportunity. So when we talk about the results of our fundraising, obviously, you know, so much of that is is done through a partnership with our clients, but what happens inside you know, uh, a store or in our corporate offices in terms of that engagement is massive. I mean, I'm blessed that we have a number of our associates from our corporate office here in the audience today. Um, at, back at corporate, we actually have competitions similar to bake sales, we have craft sales. I mean, we have tons of opportunities for our associates to be involved and engaged so they can feel like they're coming to work every day and making a difference um, for, a, again, a greater cause. I would echo that, and I would say that I think the other piece of it is what we find with our corporate social responsibility is the biggest impact that we can make is through our people. So this puts our people at the forefront, and uh, we're in every community, and this localizes it by interacting with our customers as well as getting the energy uh, that our employees have out there into the communities. So I think it's a real opportunity to make it very local. You know, I, I, what I think is important also as we talk to these uh, fabulous people who have very big jobs at these big corporations is that they represent a lot of men and women in their organizations, but what they also represent is the people of America. The people of America are going to these big stores. I mean, Best Buy is just gigantic. The huge family of stores of William Sonoma and Ann Taylor and Loft are everywhere. So everywhere they are, they're spreading this message. They're letting parents know that there's a place to go. They're informing their customers and instilling in their associates a, a feeling of belonging to want to help these kids and get the money for the doctors and the scientists. All of that together is why they call St. Jude America's Hospital, because the children come from all over the country. They come from all over the world. I mean, Azalea came from Jamaica. Uh, they come from everywhere, and America helps us pay the bill. I think that's the key. I think what's, what I found so impactful about our initiative here is the community it creates. Not only is it our associates, but it builds that connection between our associates and, and their communities in every city and town across America that we're in. And you really build this collective support um, that I think drives exponential support. It's not just two plus two equals four. Mm -hmm. I think it's two plus two equals 10 here. Um, and that, that's the power, of, I think, of, of, of this initiative and our other CSR initiatives that we do. That's great. Thank you so much for your question. Hello, what is your Hi, name? Hi, I'm Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Uh, nice to meet you guys. Um, my question is actually for you, Simone. <laughs> Um, I was wondering if you could offer any words of encouragement or um, advice to parents that are going through something similar to you. Yes. Um, well, it's, it's the most difficult thing that a parent could ever hear, you know, that your child has cancer. Um, especially when they're really young, you really don't know what to do in the moment. But the best thing you can do is just love on your child and just encourage them and tell them that this is a journey. Um, you know, be honest with them, say, we're not quite sure how this journey is going to end, but we're going to do it together. And we're going to, you know, we're going to love you through it, and we're going to hold your hand through it, and everything you're going to do, we're going to be right there. So the most important thing, um, and this is also for the healthy children in your life, is that, you know, keep them close. And, and don't take anything for granted, and just shower them with love all the time. That's, that's the most important thing. That's lovely, thank you. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Michael. Hi. Um, so this is a very important time of year for St. Jude, but I'm wondering after the season of giving is over, how are some ways that people can stay involved or get involved with St. Jude? Oh, thank you for asking. Well, first of all, you should know that right now, aside from going to all these wonderful stores and going to these stores online, we have 70 partners 
uh, 7 so I don't know if they're going to be flashing those on the screen or whatever, but there's many, many more partners than are just the three today. And there, there's Kmart and there's K Jewelers and there's Domino's Pizza. Uh, we're everywhere. AutoZone, Expedia, there they are. Lots and lots of wonderful partners. And, uh, and they're going to ask you to make a donation uh, to St. Jude. But also you can go to stjude.org and make a donation. And what's also great about stjude.org, you can see more stories like Azalea's and, and, and learn more about uh, some of the things that we're doing at St. Jude. For example, we are uh, mapping the genome of every single child that comes to St. Jude, which nobody does but us. We also have the only proton beam ever created for children in the world. Uh, and that is exciting because the proton beam is the smallest beam on the planet. So when it goes into a little child's brain, it doesn't touch any of the healthy tissue. It just gets at that bad tumor. So that costs $100 million, that one piece of equipment. And America helped us pay for that and buy that. And that's what's saving these children's lives. So you can go to the stores. You can go to stjude.org. You can go online. And also you can go to, you can text, but I can never remember that number. <laughs> it is, uh, you text give. And where's Debbie? Can some 785-833-833. 785-833. And just to the word give. Uh, so those are many of the ways. But I thank you for that question because there are things going on all year long. There is a, a walk that's done. There are marathons that are going on in all different cities and dinners and luncheons. And, and just go on, again, go to stjude.org and find out where there's something in your community and you can join in and be part of this really exciting community that, that has a good purpose. You know, you, there's so much bad news every day. This is good news. This is good news. This is something we can do together that's good and help children like Azalea go home with their moms and dads and their siblings and enjoy a healthy, productive life. I, I have a lot of blessings in my life, but I don't think there's anything more enriching in my life than meeting Azalea and her family and knowing that she will go home. Well, I think that's it for all of us. I just want to say thank you so much to Build for having us. You, every year you host us and the children, and we love coming here, and uh, we thank you so much. So remember to give thanks for the healthy kids in your life and give to those who are not. <laughs>